Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I wanted to show you how you can take some of your summer items and take them straight through to autumn and winter. Now of course that doesn't mean that you're going to be wearing flip flops on Christmas day, but don't worry because some of your summer items will take you through the next seasons. One of my favourite things to take through to autumn is slip dresses. Now these have been one of my staple pieces throughout the summer in my wardrobe. You guys have seen me wearing them throughout summer and I've got two of my favorites and one that I have yet to show you guys on the channel and on my blog it's brand new so I'm excited to show you that slip dress too one of them you already know about and I just wanted to show you how you can take something that's quite summery through to autumn and winter so it's more of an investment piece more of an all year round piece and things to think about when you're shopping in the summer when you want to take it through to autumn and winter so for example so the two dresses that i've picked of course are in mind for summer but i also was thinking how can i style this throughout the year so let's get into the video okay so firstly i'm going to show you the two dresses that i am talking about and just go through why i picked them for summer and also what i was thinking about when i thought i could take them through to autumn and winter the first one you guys have seen lots of me wearing and it's this gorgeous gingham slick dr uh, slip dress from Zara. Uh, both of the dresses are actually from Zara because you guys know that Zara is my favourite high street brand. Um, I absolutely love this dress. It is just stunning. It is so, so gorgeous. It has so many colours through it. And that's one of the things I wanted to actually talk about with you guys is the colours in this dress. Now, of course, it's very summery. It has strappy little straps. <laughs> strappy straps and um they tie with bows on the top which is really quite a summery style um, it's also got the cute little triangle v-neck at the top and at the bottom it goes down into a very flowy hem now of course this item is made for summer and spring but the thing i thought about when i first saw this item on the rail was the colours in it. Now the colours in it will definitely take it through to autumn and winter. Some of the colours in here, like the greens, the oranges, the burnt oranges, there's a little bit of, not red, but like coming through in that check, um, are what is gonna make it so easy to style in autumn and winter because those are quite darker colours, but they're still bright on the dress, so it's gonna bring like a little bit of an edge to my autumn wardrobe. Um, obviously there's white and pink in there too which keeps it summery but that's how I knew that this would take me through to autumn and winter and I'm going to style it with three pieces um, to show you how you can layer the slip dress to take it through to autumn and winter. How many times am I going to say take it through to autumn and winter in this video? Okay, the next dress is brand new and I actually bought it for my birthday, which was two days ago now. You can go check my pictures of this dress out on my Instagram because I wore it to my birthday meal, which was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I absolutely love this dress. This is also from Zara. It's this gorgeous cow neck slip dress, so a little bit different to the other one. I would say this one is probably less summery, but more evening wear which again is one of the reasons why i wanted to show it to you because i wanted to show you how you can take an evening wear dress and make it very casual and day like for autumn and winter but obviously this dress is designed to be worn throughout the summer as well because of the straps it's very floaty it's very very um cool and it's just a summer piece really but again the colours. This autumnal colour, I mean this just screams autumn this colour. If I was just to show you this as a colour you would think of autumn I'm sure because it's like a burnt orange, it reminds me of bonfire night, it reminds me of Halloween um, so that's going to be really easy to style in autumn and winter. The next thing I wanted to show you on this dress is the ruching down the side which you will see way better in the cutaway. This ruching down the side really like elongates your waist and really tapers it in, which is very, very flattering. But also, um, it's all the detail is on the skirt half of the dress. And that's what I'm excited about because I'm actually going to pair this dress with some jumpers. Um, and that way, the dress stops being a dress and sort of turns into a skirt. 
Now, obviously, this one's a little bit different because of the cow neck. I can't put a t-shirt underneath it. The cow neck just doesn't sit right on top of a t-shirt. And I can't put t-shirts over this one because the cow neck, uh, like, ruches up underneath the t-shirt and just doesn't look right. So, with this one, I'm going to be pairing it with jumpers that are thick and will cover the cow neck nicely and make the rest of the dress look like a skirt. Okay guys, I'm really excited to show you how I styled these two dresses, so let's get into the cutaways. Okay, so this is the first slip dress on its own. I just wanted to quickly show you how I would wear it through the spring and summer. Um, I've just put it on, literally on its own, with a pair of Nike Air Force Buns, just to like add a bit of a sporty style against the femininity of this dress. But the things that I love most about the dress are the hemline. I love that it's asymmetrical, it's got a handkerchief hem. And I love the top half as well. And I love that it's got like a little v-neck. It's very flattering. I love the straps and how skinny they are. I love the bows on top. And the colours in this dress are just exquisite. So this is how I'm going to style this dress up for the autumn. Okay guys, so this is the first way that I would style this dress with a white t-shirt underneath. Now the best thing about doing this is obviously is adding another layer, which is another layer of warmth. So this is one of the easiest ways to take this dress through to autumn and winter. Um, just with, paired it with a little white top that is also from Zara. But obviously you could put any t-shirt underneath. This is one of the easiest ways of doing it and probably one of the most obvious. But I thought it would still be nice to show you. Because sometimes you do just forget how you can restyle really simple things. And this is one of the most simplest ways. I've paired it with my Nike Air Force Ones to pair with the white. And I think this is just such a put together outfit. But so comfortable and so easy. Okay, and the next outfit is the opposite basically putting a t-shirt over the slip dress now this is one that i quite often forget that i can actually do it's so obvious to put a t-shirt underneath the dress but putting one over really changes up the style completely it now looks like i'm wearing a t-shirt with a skirt and i think i really really like how that looks again i've paired it with my nike trainers because it's just so easy and so casual but i love how this is kind of sporty but with like a feminine feminine edge I love that the dress now looks like a skirt because it's made it so versatile and I love that I've used a t-shirt as well that um, with a colour that is also in the dress so they pair really nicely together. Again I've put the trainers on just to keep it really casual and a little bit sporty but I think this is such an easy outfit and with a coat over the top when it gets even colder this is going to take you through all of the seasons and this is why I love getting dresses like this because they literally last you throughout the whole year. Okay, and the last outfit for this dress is this one. I styled it with this really, really big sweater. I think this one's great because obviously it's going to keep you warmer. Um, for this, I've actually just put the sweater over the top of the dress. But over the last couple of weeks when I've done this outfit to go out in, sometimes I've actually put a t-shirt over the dress and then the sweater. So that I've got three layers on and that keeps me super warm. Again, I've paired it with the trainers just to keep that cool, casual, sporty vibe. But I absolutely, absolutely love this jumper with this dress. And I think it's like a little bit, it can be a little bit harder to style. You obviously have to get a dress, um, sorry, a jumper that goes with the dress somewhat and normally people wouldn't put such like a casual sweater with such like a girly dress but i think the juxtaposition is really really cool also there's orange in the dress so it gets picked up by the jumper really nicely and i also love playing with the lengths because the jumper is quite long it actually goes past my bum so the it changes the look of the dress as a skirt as well like before with the top it was like a high-waisted skirt and now it's like a shorter midi skirt obviously you can tell it goes underneath but it just plays with the lengths a little bit and i really really like that okay so on to the next dress this dress is also from zara and as you can see straight away this dress is a lot more fancy a lot more of an evening dress less casual than the previous one but i wanted to show you how you can make it really casual and take it through to autumn and winter so first of all i absolutely love the color of this dress i think it's stunning i think it looks really nice on my very pale skin tone um i like the cow neck but obviously that is one of the styling issues when it comes to making this more of a casual look because the cow neck gets in the way of putting a t-shirt under or over it so that's why i've gone with jumpers for this one and i love the ruching detail down the side i think it's super flattering it also has 
two splits in it and I've styled this dress with my Louis Vuitton boots because I wanted to show you how to style it with boots because obviously it will be getting colder soon enough and I just wanted to show you another way of styling it without trainers because I do think this would look cool with trainers with a jumper over the top maybe I could show you but I wanted to show you with boots as well just to give you a couple of ideas Okay, so the first outfit, I've just thrown a really woolly cardigan over the dress. Now, I know this might look really, really simple and easy to do. But that's kind of why I like it. Instantly, it's casualised the dress. Is that even a word, casualised? It's made the dress way more casual and more appropriate for day wear. I like how the skirt half of the dress now looks a bit more wearable. Again, with the boots as well, it just adds like a little grungier edge. Um... And just make and just brings the whole look down. This is a very like Tumblr 2012 kind of look, I feel, with the grungy boots and the silky dress and like a cardigan over the top. And I really love wearing cardigans buttoned up as jumpers. And um, because it's it's just a little bit easier to take off if you do get too warm. Um, and I love this one. This one is from ASOS and it has like these folded up sleeves, which I really, really like. So yeah, outfit number one, just throw on a casual cardigan. Okay, so outfit number two I think is probably my favourite way of styling this dress. I've thrown this really chunky um, roll neck jumper over the top. This one is from Topshop. It's, I've literally had this jumper for about three or four years. I am still obsessed with it. Every winter I absolutely love this. I don't see myself ever throwing this jumper away because it's so practical. But I will try and link a few. I know ASOS do loads and I'm sure Topshop and Zara, they bring these kind of jumpers out every year. So it's not going to be hard to find. I've just thrown it on top of the dress and now this part looks like a skirt. Um, it also covers up the cow neck and the cow neck's not getting caught up underneath the jumper because the jumper is heavy enough to keep it down. Again, with the boots, I think this is such a cool outfit. I absolutely love this. I really, really like how it looks and I love the beige with the bright colour. I think it just mutes it a little bit but keeps it really bright and bold for autumn. And of course, this is such an autumnal colour anyway that it just looks really, really cool. I love the boots with it. It's going to keep me nice and warm and with a coat over the top, I am ready and ready to go. Okay, and last but not least, this is the last outfit I wanted to show you guys. And I feel like this one might be a little bit of a Marmite one. Not everybody's going to like this. But I got the inspiration for this outfit from a picture that I showed you guys in my most recent fashion forecast on my mood board. Where this girl was wearing a really long skirt with a jumper dress over the top. And I absolutely loved how it looked. So I thought I'd give it a go myself. So this is a jumper dress that I got from Topshop last... Either this year winter side some some point between january and march i feel like i got it in the sale and i absolutely love this jumper dress but of course it's not always warm enough to get your legs out so i've put the slip dress underneath it because it's got this little pop of color at the bottom now again i've paired it with my louis vuitton boots just to keep the warmth in extra but I actually really like how this looks and I would totally wear this out. I get it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea and you could always cinch it in with a belt if you wanted to. But I quite like the oversized look and I think it looks really Balenciaga-esque at the moment. Um, I really like how the jumper sort of mutes down the colour because it's such a nice shade of cream. But then you've just got the pop of the orange at the bottom. I can't really show you properly because I just don't have anywhere to film like full outfits in this flat. But yeah, really, really like this one. With the boots as well, I think it like grunches it up a bit again. And I absolutely love the colours together. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed watching this video. And do subscribe if you haven't already. I post a new video every Monday at 6pm. And don't forget to go check out my blog at rayofstyle.co.uk. There'll be a new blog post every Friday at 6pm too. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!